So first for the series of videos, uh, we are planning to release uh, as part of our learning on quantitative architecture. In this video, we look at calculating the unit digit uh, in an expression x to the power of y. Where x can be any number from 1 to infinity in y can be a power, it can be a number. So when we are trying to calculate the unit digit of x to the power of 1, we will first identify the unit digit in x, x. Uh, and we call that as say L. For example, if the value of x is uh, 5, 2, 6, the unit digit in 5 to 6 is 6. So this forms our L. In the next step, the next step we will try to divide uh, y by 4. If, if y is exactly divisible by 4, uh, we can write y as y equal to 4k, where k is any value or any number. So when you multiply y 4 by k, we will we'll get the value of y. So in such a case, uh, the unit digit of x to the power of y will be equal to 6 if the value of L is either 2, 4, 6 or 8. And the unit digit value of x to the power of y will be equal to 1 if the value of L is 3, 7 or 9. So basically what this says is if the value of L is an even number, then the value of the unit digit in x to the power of y will be equal to x is, is equal to 6 and if L is an odd number other than 5, the value of x to the power of y, I mean the value of unit digit in x to the power of y will be equal to 1. If L is equal to 5, then we will always see that the unit digit is 5. So I thought continue the case here. Uh, in the next case where the value of y is not exactly divisible by 4. In that case, you can write y as 4k plus r where r is the reminder that we get upon dividing y by 4. In such a case, the value of x to the power of y will be equal to, I mean the value of the unit digit in x to the power of y will be equal to the value of units digit in L to the power of r, where L is large digit obtained or the L is the unit digit in x and r is the reminder that is obtained upon dividing y by 4. Uh, this will be clear if we uh, solve some examples based on these cases. Uh, I'll, I'll consider uh, taking the power of say, I mean, uh, calculate 74 to the power of 96. In this case, we have the value of L that is the unit digit in 74 as 4. And y we see that is exactly divisible by 4. 4 into 24 is 96. So we have to calculate the units digit of 4 to the power of 96. So as per a case here, since y is exactly divisible by 4 and the value of L is 4, uh, we'll have the unit digit value as 6, which is as per this case. In the next case, uh, if I consider this as 73 to the power of 96. In this case, uh, units which in 73 is 3, the power is 96. So this will be equal to, this will give us 1 as the unit digit, which is as per this case. And then uh, considering the case where uh, you will try to calculate the unit digit of 97 to the power of 97. In this case, we see that uh, the value of y is not exactly divisible by 4. So y leaves us a reminder 1 when we divide uh, 97 by 4, right? So, so we will write this as 7 to the power of, where 7 is the unit digit in x and 1 is the reminder that we obtain upon dividing y by 4. So 7 to the power of 1 will be equal to 7. So 97 to the power of 97 will give us uh, 7 as the unit digit, so which is as per this case. So, whenever we try to calculate the unit digit of an expression which is in the form x to the power of y, 
will first identify the unit ticket in x will then divide y by 4 if y is exactly divisible by 4 then based on whether n is even or odd we can say whether the unit digit of x to the power of y is 6 or 1 if l is 3 7 9 our uh, unit digit of x to the power of y is 1 and if l is 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 we can say that the unit digit of x to the power of y is 6 and if y is not exactly divisible by 4 that is if y gives you a reminder upon dividing by 4 the unit digit of x to the power of y will be equal to the unit digit of l to the power of r where l is the unit digit in x and r is the reminder that is obtained upon dividing y by 4. Uh, we are looking forward to have your feedback and suggestions so that we can improve our site better. Thanks a lot friends. Have a good day.